guys. So if anyone knows me in real life, will know that I'm pretty much usually the baby of the situation. I'm always the youngest in the group because I just always have hung out with older people. Even my family, I've I've always been the baby. And um, when this song came out, it was like one of my mother's favorite songs, and she would she'd play it for me. And and um, yeah, let's let's do this one here. If if you guys know the song, sing along with me. If if not, just listen because this one here did used to bring me to tears, and I think I might actually be able to get through it now. But yeah, I don't know if I'll be singing or not. We'll we'll leave that up to be a surprise. If if I start singing, I start singing. If not, then <laughs> boo on you. Too bad. <laughs> are unfamiliar with that song it is Blake Shelton's the baby um, the day that my mother passed away I was in school and um, 
All of a sudden, I got a call down to the office. I thought I was in trouble because me, I was rebelling at that point in time and I just thought that I was in trouble. I get about halfway up to the office and then I realize to myself, how long ago was it that they gave for my mother for her timeline? Because they did, they gave her a timeline. They gave her 12 to 18 months. And I started doing math in my head as I'm going up these stairs. And all of a sudden I'm realizing it's 18 months and one day. And I all of a sudden come to the conclusion as to why I'm going to the office. I knew it before it even happened. I ran out to the office. And they told me that my aunt was on her way to come and pick me up. And I knew for a fact that that was strange because she wouldn't even take a day off of work just to come and see me wrestle. And I knew something was off then. So I run downstairs, I put everything in my locker because I'm not even going to deal with schoolwork. I'm not at this point in time. Put everything in my locker, went outside to wait for my aunt. And I pretty much told her, you better hurry the hell up because I'm not going to miss this. I do not want to miss my saying goodbye. I had just turned 15. I had just turned 15. By the time I got to my mother, I know, baby. By the time I got to my mother, it was probably about mid-afternoon. And they told me that she had never woken up from the night before. She was ultimately in a coma because of her brain tumors just creating too much pressure on her head. So she was unconscious for her last day of being alive. But I still got to say goodbye before she drew her last breath. And she goes, and she lived 18 days in one month. <laughs> Crap. 18 months in one freaking day. That's all that she got. She fought hard. She was such a fighter. She was so sick. I love you, Mom. Wherever you may be.